Good afternoon. New teachers and teachers new to the district. My name is Logan Wilson. I am a teacher and coach at the junior high. First off, welcome to Carthage. I would like to take a few minutes to explain the districts as well as the school's budget. I also want to do a quick overview of how to create a purchase order for your classroom and or uh, your activity if you are a uh, activity sponsor. First off, district finances. So where does this money come from? We are looking at about 45 to 50% coming from the local government, uh, another 45 to 50% coming from the state government, and then a little less than 10% coming from the federal government. So how is the money spent? Uh, for, our, for a public school like ours, about 75 to 85% of the budget is spent on salaries and personal benefits. The, the next part, so we were talking about insurance and so forth. The next part, the rest is used for school necessities, projects, everything else that's going to help our school function on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, that budget is categorized into various uh, major departments. A couple of those would be transportation, curriculum, staff development, food services, health and safety, counseling services, as well as a lot of other things that go into the school. Now, if you break that down just a little bit more, uh, so that's the district picture, break it down into more of a building finances. The school budget is pretty much set in stone by the superintendent before the school year starts. So each school gets a piece of the pie and the superintendent is in charge of how big each school gets, how big of a piece each school gets. Uh, major parts of the school budget, you're looking at general supplies. Uh, certain classes have um, budgets specified for them, so art, facts, queer tech, a lot of project-based classes get a, a small budget. Um, also curriculum and development. Now this is uh, controlled by the curriculum superintendent, Ms. Frazier, but so that's set in stone beforehand as well usually. Um, activity budgets. Okay, so a lot of you guys are going to be um, activity sponsors. Each activity has a certain budget. Now, some activities have a larger budget due to necessary equipment needs. For example, football due to equipment needs might have a larger budget than say cross country. Uh, just comes with, the, comes with the territory. The activity budget is controlled, controlled by the athletic director and vice principal Ms. Fields. Each year the activity sponsors give her a list of needs and wants and then uh, with the activity sponsor and Ms. Fields together they figure out what they can order, uh, what they need and so forth. Um, if, an act, if you'd like to increase your budget, uh, you can do fundraisers. Those have to be approved by Ms. Fields and the central office. If you do a fundraiser, make sure you give all your money to Susan, log that, have a paper trail. Um, that way it keeps you and the school um, from getting any, any trouble mishandling money. Uh, okay, so the next one would be purchase orders. So let's say you want to order something for your classroom or you want to order something for your activity. Uh, what you need to do is have a purchase order or a PO form. You get one of those. It's a blue, blue form. You get that from Jan, Ms. Bogle's secretary. Uh, you will need the item, item number, uh, the company and the address you're ordering from, the quantity, the price per item, uh, shipping cost, etc. Basic information. Once you have that, if you ask Jan nicely, usually she will help you. Uh, if she has time, she's helped me out a ton. Uh, once you get everything out, filled out, Jan will give it to Ms. Bogle and she approves. Uh, then Ms. Bogle will sign off on that, send it to the central office, and hopefully you'll get that pretty soon. If you order something without a purchase order, um, there's a good chance that it will be sent back or you might have to pay for it out of pocket. Not fun for anybody. Okay, so that is a glimpse of the district and school budget and a quick overview of how to purchase items for activity uh, and or your classroom. I know you're getting a lot of information this week, so if you have any questions later, please don't hesitate to reach out. Ask another teacher, ask Jan. We'll be more than willing to help out. Again, welcome to Carthage and good luck in the upcoming year. Thank you.